in this video we are going to discuss the detections detection and removals of multicollinearity in regression model in our model gdp is a dependent variable and labor force capital and fdi are independent variable so we are going to run our regression model so quick estimate equation gdp is a dependent variable then constant then labor force capital and fdi this is a model using least square having data of 1981 to 2010 then okay this is the result of our regression model and we can see all variables are highly significant and having good r and adjusted r square with overall significance of the model but now we don't know about the status of multicollinearity of this regression model so first we have to apply the detection test of multicollinearity and we have discussed in our previous lecture that for multicollinearity we have to find variance inflation factor v i f as we have discussed in previous video that minimum value of v i f is 1 and if VIF is 1, it means there is no multicollinearity. When value is increasing from 1, it means independent variables are correlating each other. So, we can say the multicollinearity exists. So, how to find the value of VIF? Uh, view, coefficient diagnostics, variance inflation factor. So, we have to use the centered VIF. In this model, we can see the VIF labor force is 17, capital is 1.6, FDI is 18. Theoretically, all variables show the existence of multicollinearity, but some statisticians suggest, sorry, some statisticians suggest that we considered multicollinearity when VIF is greater than 1. Some suggest VIF is greater than 5. If VIF is greater than 5, then we can say the multicollinearity is severe. And some suggest that when VIF is equal to 10 is equal to or greater than 10 so multicollinearity exists so we will follow this criteria it means whenever VIF is equal to 10 or greater than 10, we consider there is severe multicollinearity and then we have to apply some removals. If all these values are less than 10, so we do not apply any removal because multicollinearity will not be severe in this case so we have to apply a first removal which is leave 
the model alone. It means severity of multicollinearity is not enough to apply removals. But in this case, we have two variables having BIF is more than 10, the labor force and the FTI. So a second removal, as we have discussed, is exclude the variables. exclude the variables and we have also discussed in our previous lecture that in regression models sometime we have some focus variable and some control variable focus variables are those variable on which our research question and research objectives depend on the other side control variables are those variables which are used to enhance the performance of regression model. So in this case, now we consider FDI is our control variable and labor force and capital are focus variable. So exclude the variable, this removal should apply only on control variable. We cannot apply this removal on focus variable. So when we consider FD as a control variable, now we are going to apply the second removal. So exclude the FDI from our model, then run the our regression model. This is the result. So now what are the new values of VIF? So now we can see the VIF, both variables of both VIF of both variables is R less than 10. So it means there is no multicollinearity after excluding the variable. But if we consider all three variables are focus variable. So we cannot exclude any of them. So we have to apply a third removal of multicollinearity which is change the major change the major what does it mean change the major means as VIF of FDI is the highest one which is 18.3 so we and we cannot exclude the variable of FDI but we can change the major of the variable so uh, uh, we have a variable which is growth rate of FDI namely FDIR and we are going to use this growth rate of FDI instead of the values of FDI. So we are going to replace the FDI with FDIR. This is change the measure. We did not change the variable we changed only the measure of the variable. Previously, we have used the values of FDI and now we are using the growth rate of that variable. So this is the result of our of regression model. And then we should check the VIF. Now look, the all VIF are less than 10 it means there is no multicollinearity now come to the fourth removal sometime researcher do not want to change or exclude any variable or do not want to change the measure of any variable so how can we remove the multicollinearity so our fourth removal is increase in sample size so first for increase in sample size we have to in increase our range 2020 and then open all variables right click open as group so we can see data 
is not available from the extended part and now uh, I am placing some random values here but obviously you have to put a real values of the data this is a new data set from 1981 to 2020 now we are going to run a new regression model from with new sample size from 1981 to 2020 run um, we have to use our original FTI so this is our the result of regression model after increasing the sample size so when now we are going to check the multi VIF the value of VIF now you can see after increasing the sample size all VIF are less than 10 it means now there is no multi collinearity in the model and we can use this model as a reliable model if you like the video to please like share and subscribe my channel TJ Academy